In this video, I'm going to show you how to sign up for Cloudflare. Uh, Cloudflare, if you don't know what Cloudflare is, Cloudflare is a brute force protection for your website. So um, it will protect your website uh, against brute force attacks and also it will help your load speed of your websites. And it does this by having multiple servers around the world and depending on which, uh, what location your visitors coming from, it will push the push them to the closest server to them. So um, it will help your load speed depending on where they're at as well. Um, so all in all, it's gonna be a big benefit for your website. Also, it hides your uh, information from Google. So if you have a PBN and um, you can use Cloudflare, so Google doesn't know that all of your websites are coming from the same source. So if you're using it for a PBN, make sure that you're you that you are creating a separate Cloudflare account for each um, for each uh, domain that you put on there. Because if you don't, then the name servers are going to be all the same, and they'll and Google's going to be able to tell. So um, also. Cloudflare, you can get a free SSL certificate and they will do everything. So if you've found that SSL certificates are a pain in the butt, which I have, they're absolutely a pain. Cloudflare is a great option just for doing SSL. Okay, so here I'm going to go straight to cloudflare.com and we're going to start from cloudflare.com. You can click on the link down below in the description box it's going to take you straight to cloudflare and what we're going to do is we're going to click the sign up button down here so click sign up and um get started with cloudflare so let's see i've got some stuff in here let me get rid of that so uh, we have to put our email address in so i like to put the admin email address of the um of the domain so admin at and this is the domain i'm going to put admin at the online weight loss company.com then my password is going to be Okay. And just click create account. And I'll save it. Okay, so here we're taking into the dashboard. Welcome to Cloudflare, let's get started. So now we will need to go and do under websites. Just click websites on the left-hand side. And then we're gonna click on the add site. And this, you just wanna put in your domain name. So. I'm going to put in the my domain. Okay. Then click add site. And then we'll need to select your plan. Free plan is all you need. There's no need to pay for this. Click free at the bottom here and continue. Okay, it's going to review DNS records and change your name servers. So if you're not using this as a PBN, you can keep everything the way it is. If you're using this as a PBN, get rid of everything that does not say proxied. Everything that says proxied, you need to keep, but delete everything that doesn't say proxied because if it's not proxied, it's not, it's, it's actually gonna be able to find you. So uh, just go under edit, and then delete, click the delete button. I'm not gonna do that here, but um, where it says proxy status, proxy, leave those and delete everything underneath. If this is a PBN. If not, don't worry about it, leave everything as is. And if you don't know what a PBN is, it doesn't pertain to you. So now I'm gonna show you about the, um, oh, actually we need to continue, hold on. So go to the bottom, click continue. Now it's gonna tell you 
that you need to point your name servers to Cloudflare. And the reason why I tell you, if you're using this as a PBN, change because Cloudflare is going to give you different name servers for each one. That's how Google's not going to be able to tell that it's a PBN. So all you need to do is go to your go to your um, domain uh, domain registrar and change the name servers in there. So I have Namecheap, so I'm just going to click copy here, click the copy, and I'm going to go over to Namecheap under my uh, online weight loss company, and I'm going to go to manage. And under name servers, I'm going to do custom. In custom name server one, I'm going to paste the first one in, go back, copy the second one, and then paste the second one, and then click the save button. Might be a little bit different depending on your registrar. So, um, okay, so I'm going to wait for that to go through. I don't know why it's taking so long. Normally it doesn't take that long. Okay. So it may take up to 48 hours to take effect. Sometimes it takes an hour or so. Um, so just click done, check name servers. And then you can do this if you want. I'm not going to, I'm just gonna click finish later. Quick start guide, you can review your settings. And then it says to complete your name server setup. We've already done that, we're just waiting for it to propagate. So we're just gonna click check name servers and Cloudflare is now checking the name servers. Please wait a few hours for an update. Usually doesn't take that long, but um, if you want to set up some, if you want an SSL certificate with this, so you're going to need to click on SSL over on the left hand side, and then go to um, right here. Okay, so you don't have to do anything. Your SSL encryption mode is full, so you want to change it from full because. Um, it's encrypting end to end. You don't, if you don't have a, a certificate based on your original server, your origin server, then you're going to want to uh, click it to flexible. And flexible will encrypt traffic between the browser and Cloudflare. So Cloudflare will take care of the um, SSL for you uh, from Cloudflare's end to the browser. And you won't have one on the original server. And it'll tell you the setting was changed. So it's set to flexible. It might take a little while for that to take effect as well. So um, be patient for that, um, but it does work and it works very well. Um, you don't have to do anything down here if you don't want to uh, and nothing, none of this stuff's required. So now it's just a waiting game of name servers to propagate. So once that's done, let me go back and see if it's done yet. Go over to overview and um, it's not it's not done yet. You also get an email at the email address that you provided. Also make sure that you go into that admin email or whatever email that you put. You don't have to put the admin email if you don't want to. Um, go in and verify that email address. It's gonna send you a verification email address. Go in there and verify that as well. And um, that's all you have to do. Uh, just wait for it to propagate, and uh, it, it's a seamless operation. You ain't going to know that it even happened unless you you see that the SSL has gone through and you get the email, or if you come back to this page. So let me refresh it real quick just to see if it's done. No, it's not done yet. Okay, well, I hope you found this video helpful to you. If you did, please like it down below. Also, subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this, and I'll see you in the next video.